While I was researching my first video about the Chinese drones, I saw this picture and I thought, what the? Yes, this drone. This drone attracted my attention and Otis too. Ah, oh, Otis, what do you think it is? It is a high altitude, long endurance drone, sir. Yes, of course, look at that wing, but what is it for? It is for electronic intelligence? No, sir. So you do know what is that thing? Yes, sir, it was in the press. Okay. The first rumors about Project 973 Divine Eagle by Shenyang Aircraft Corporation emerged in 2012 in a book about Chinese aeronautical history. In May 2015, some pictures and some engineering diagrams were leaked on the Chinese internet. The configuration shown at the time was not the final one but it made waves because, well, it was big and it was very unusual. It didn't took long before some clear pictures emerged from behind the Great Chinese Firewall. First in July 2015 and then in August, leaked pictures were showing the drone parked on the apron and the taxing. And it was a shock. Nobody had ever seen anything like that. First, it was enormous. We don't have the exact size, but estimates from the pictures indicate the length between 14.5 and 18 meters and a wingspan between 40 and 50 meters. The American Global Oak, as a comparison, has a wingspan of about 39.9 meters. Unlike the Global Oak though, this one doesn't have a fuselage, it has two fuselages. In fact, the aircraft has two almost identical fuselages. On the back, they are joined by the central section of the wing. On the nose, they are joined by an additional aerodynamic surface that I believe is acting like a classic canard. It is not clear why this solution was chosen. Surely the box formed by the two fuselages and the two aerodynamic surfaces is pretty stiff without requiring too much structural weight. It is a unique solution and I suspect that the reason it was chosen was not aerodynamic nor structural. However, 10 out of 10 for creativity. Sir, we have to complete the video, sir. The engine is likely a turbofan and it is mounted above the wing between the fuselages. The wing itself has no sweep, but it has a very high aspect ratio, which is typical of high efficiency subsonic wings. The already mentioned Global Oak has a similar wing. The U2 uses the same configuration. Do not react like this, sir. Prominent tail feature are the two vertical stabilizers. They appear to be quite large if they are compared with the overall size of the aircraft and probably the reason is the very short arm. And this was probably a compromise because they have chosen this very particular general configuration. So we still have a question to answer. Why did they choose this configuration? In the material leaked in 2015, there were pictures of aerodynamic simulations calculated at 25,000 meters of altitude and Mach 0 
This actually makes the aircraft mission quite clear. Intelligence. The aircraft is painted in green and grey, and this means that either there are two different materials, or the Chinese are just fooling us and believing so. Since the former is much more likely, well, it actually seems that the aircraft is covered in big radooms. Well, they're not really domes, but yeah, you, you get it. The original leak was showing up to seven radar, either in X-Band or UHF, though the most recent pictures don't seem to show as many. This is telling us that the aircraft is probably an OWAX. An unmanned, high altitude, very long endurance OWAX. It could have a satellite dish under the left dome for communications and two radars under the grey areas, probably one for each side. If other leaks are to be believed, it is possible that under those grey areas there is a modified version Chinese JY-26 radar. The JY-26 is a rather peculiar radar. It is a ground-based Haiza radar working in UHF band. These radars operate at low frequency, long wavelengths, and they can indeed see stealth aircraft. But since there is no free lunch, the quality of the radar track is quite While the distance measure could be quite precise in the order of a few hundred meters, the angular precision is low. And this means that the detected position at long range could literally be off by tenths of kilometers. But this accuracy can be greatly improved by combining different sensors, and this is probably the mission of the Divine Eagle. In fact, a fleet of these aircraft could complement the ground-based radars and the more conventional OWACs, making an airspace very hard to be penetrated even by very low observability aircraft. According to some observers, the Divine Eagle entered in limited operational service in 2018 and since then it has been observed in several air bases around China. Unfortunately, we don't know how many are in service, we don't know anything about the production plans, we don't know anything about upgrades, basically we don't know anything. Yes, the Divine Eagle is a well-preserved secret. Sir, we didn't explain the configuration. Low frequency radars are large. The frequency at which they operate forces geometric constraints on the antennas. But to carry a big antenna there are more conventional solutions. It could have been like this or like this. In the former case the canoe on top of the fuselage has an adverse effect on the aircraft's longitudinal stability. Of course it can be corrected, and it works pretty well, but it is a further complication. In the latter option, the position of the wing actually limits the size of the antennas, and anyway, placing them side by side along the fuselage could create interference and cooling problems. So what I believe the Chinese designers did was to create an unimpeded fuselage side where to host the big radar antenna. And then they split the fuselage in two to have less interference and better thermal management. Of course, if you are transforming an already existing civilian aircraft or a transport aircraft, all these issues can be solved. They have been many times. But in this case, they were starting from scratch. So why bother? Ah, and now it is obvious why the aircraft doesn't have any stealth feature. I don't need to explain this, right? Please let me know in the comments below. Anyhow, the Divine Eagle is not the only piece of the puzzle that is required to understand the Chinese drone strategy. In fact, the Chinese are investing heavily in their drone lineup. To learn more, please click on the videos that are going to appear beside me. Thank you very much to all those who are supporting the channel on Patreon by being a member or making one-off donations PayPal. Thank you to all those who buy a model from Air Models. There is an affiliate link below. I get a small percentage and there is no extra cost for you. 
And if you got to this point in the video, thank you so much for watching and see you there.